I was watching Graham Radio Crunch's live stream this afternoon and I was um, quite surprised when um, he was trying to get to listening into a Binatone World Star radio on VHF Airband how little he was actually picking up. And I just wondered whether his area was actually optimised for VHF Airband. So I just thought I'd show you what I've got above my head. Um, it's really simple and would take about five minutes to build and cost you literally the price of the RG58. That's it. Which you can often pick up from um, people uh, installing satellite dishes and you know things like that. Uh, you could probably get you know like the remnants of a drum really cheaply. So all I've got above my head is a half wave dipole, similar to this. So. For civilian airband, each length, each leg wants to be about 23 inches long to cover this 108, 137. So you've got a resonant frequency of about 122, which would be about in the middle. So 122 megahertz. Now, communications only really happen on 118 to 137, but let's just say 23 inches per leg for an overall length of 46 inches and then that just connects straight into your scanner we're keeping this really simple the one above my head's 10 inches per leg that's because I'm listening to UHF uh, about 240 to 250 megahertz would be the resonant frequency there so all I've done on my RG58 to make the aerial is to cut 10 inches back or 23 inches if you're only listening to civilian aircraft cut back to 10 inches or 23 just remove the outer insulation layer and then obviously you'll have the screen and all you do is you take a small screwdriver and you lever apart the screen the strands of the screen and then pull the inner core through the screen so you have something like this and all you do is take a bamboo cane or a bit of PVC pipe or something something that's um, non-conductive and you zip tie it to the bamboo cane this is obviously just a model so each leg is zip tied flat and then this becomes your lead out to your radio and this whole thing gets mounted vertically not horizontally vertically and you can put one of those screw eyes in the top of the bamboo cane and just bang a nail in the very top of your joists and um, you know in the roof of your house so this is not an outside aerial this is uh, not waterproof or anything so that goes up there as high as you can inside your roof and then lead your lead in goes into your radio and that is basically it so that's this is all we've got basically so let's have a look at a uh, antenna length calculator and just check that this is right so this is like a commonly available internet antenna length calculator this one's on the website of wb5mrn.com and I've put a resonant frequency of 122 megahertz which is roughly halfway between uh, 108 and 137 now obviously the um, higher you go up in megahertz the shorter your aerial uh, becomes 
and we've made a half wave dipole with a total length of 46 inches which means roughly each leg is 23 inches. Um, it doesn't have to be exact because you're tuning all over the place. If you want to get an exact you can use an SWR meter as he says here but um, you're not listening to one, one frequency. So something that's quick and easy um, it uh, took me about five minutes to make and I've had it up in the loft now for about 15 years and uh, as I say I can hear all over the country with it um, yeah that's it really